All right, hope you uh, got a little something out of the rear tire change. The video was too long to include the front tire, so this is part two of how we changed the front tire. So, hope you like it. Later. Peace out. It's back so we rigged this up for to lift get the front wheel off the ground I left a pit bull under the back to give it a little bit of stability um, and right now Brit is taking the front brake disc off or caliper off so gotta remove that and then we'll remove the pinch bolts and drop it out Okay, now she removed screws from the plastic. Now she's removing the wheel sensor. Y'all have that battery powered ratchet that I left here somewhere. Okay, she took the wheel sensor off. Now she's taking the brake caliper off. go now we can get the pinch bolts I don't know what size they are you just have to look I made this <laughs> I welded this up for just holding the axle you don't really need it as long as you take the nut off before you loosen the pinch bolts the box is wobbly don't fall. Alright, she loosened the pinch bolts and now she's pulling the front axle. With that little tool I made. It's a little tricky. Let me get something to push from the other side. There you go. Perfect. And here we go. Front wheel removed. Good job. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did with the rear tire. I'm just going to clean around it a little bit. And we'll pull the valves down and break it down. Same thing. Take out the valve cord.
doesn't feel near as tight as the real one. Come on. There we go. Here. Whew. That's sad. Busted dog toy. Huh. <laughs> it sounds like a busted dog toy. He's still stuck. <laughs> Repeat. Are you kidding me? There. Finally. Same thing, keep it mashed down into the dead center. Goodbye. <laughs> Same thing. Move up the rim really good. Move the tire.
this tire is way more flexible than that rear tire. And like how my knees are holding it down in the drop set dead center of the rim. That's what I tried to do on the rear, but I couldn't. It was too stiff. And a, a, a trick on this too is you get impatient and you try to take too big of a bite. If you just take your time, take little bites, it'll go much easier. Okay. Talk too soon. You know, hold that. Okay, this one. Says the direction of this tire is like that, which is sort of freaky from what we're used to. You know, normally your tire goes in the direction of the V, but I think the uh, I think the Carew threes were like that backwards. But that's it. We'll seat the bead and put it back on. Time to seat the bead. Normally you have a huge pop when it pops out, but these are pushed right up on there. I guess it is really lubed up really good. Put the valve core in, and then we'll mount the tire. Mount the wheel back on. I didn't even have to put the valve core in because we're going to be putting the, the ride on tire sewing in there anyway. But, okay. Alright. We're ready to go back with it here. Now, just roll her in. Line up right here on, right here the, with the brake discs. I'm, I get the brake disc right in between the pads. It'll be a minute before I'm ready for that. Let's see if we can line it up. All right. We got it. This thing's a little bit of a pain because... Here, I'll show you. I just pull it out again, though. But you have a floater in there. And if it ain't lined up perfect, this will hit and it stops. And it'll do it again when it gets to this side. You just got to keep wiggling it around until it goes. Now it's hitting on this other side. The bushing come out.
we're in. And that's just reverse order of what we did. Torque everything down to the right specs. And we're good to go. And then we'll put in the tire sealant and balancer. So, catch you in a minute. Like I said earlier, I used, uh, I used to put wheel weights on there and static balance them. But it's a pain and you lose them and it just, as your tire wears, it ch changes the balance of your wheels. So, I started using this and this is like my sixth set of tires with this stuff and I've had zero issues with it. Uh, it comes with a little straw and a valve core remover. This tire is a 150 70 17 so it'll take one whole bottle and one ounce of another one but the front tire only takes six ounces so two bottles will do bike. need to get that on there really good because I've had it pop off and make a mess. Keep squeezing it in. Don't squeeze too hard or you'll blow the hose off of it. I've done that. I'll make a mess. All right, we just put about nine ounces, maybe a little bit more, in the rear. And I can't get the stupid hose off. Put the valve core back in. Got that tire gauge, Britt? I'll get the air hose. Oh, that's my party. Oh, okay. And for now, I'm just going to probably put about 35 pounds in here. And then we'll do the front tire the same way. It takes six ounces. Air it up, and then ride it for a couple of miles to get the spread in the tire really good. Okay, that's it, job done. Me and Britt put on front and rear tires. We just put in the, the ride on. Uh, now all that's left is to take it for a test drive. I'll go down the road a few miles and spread this out in the tire, and that's it. So, thanks for watching, and Talk to you later. Oh, wait. Here, let me set the camera. You say bye, Britt. Say thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> later. Like and subscribe.